Thank you for choosing a Botanicare slide bench. The following videos are meant to help guide you through installation using the instructions included with your purchase. If you did not receive a copy or if at any time you need assistance, call our technical support associates at 1-888-808-4826. Tools needed. The following tools and supplies are required to assemble your slide bench. Cordless drill with clutch. Hammer drill. Tape measure. Chalk line. Level. Hammer or mallet. Combination wrench or 15 16 inch box wrench. 3 8 inch magnetic nut driver drill bit. 5 16 inch magnetic nut driver drill bit. A quarter inch masonry drill bit. Rubbing alcohol. Clean cloth rags. Caulk gun. 1 3 8 inch step drill bit. Step 1. Bench assembly and installation. Here's what you will need for this step. Before assembling your benches, it is important to take accurate measurements of your room to determine a precise layout. This will help ensure the desired spacing around and between benches. Follow these steps to measure and mark your layout. When complete, verify layouts are square by measuring the diagonal distance. Do not rely on walls being straight or square. To determine the precise layout, use the following A, B, and C calculations. For distance A, add 5 and 1 8 inch to the desired spacing from the drain tray to wall spacing. Example, let's say we want 25 inches from the tray to the wall. Our distance A would be 30 and 1 8 inch. Distance B equates to the wall spacing when the bench is against the wall, also known as the minimum spacing. To calculate distance B, add 19 and 1 quarter inch to 4 foot bench widths. Or, add 25 and 1 quarter inch for 5 foot bench widths. Example, this contractor wants minimum spacing that accommodates a 3 foot wheelchair. In a 4 foot bench width setup, distance B is the sum of the wheelchair width, 36 inches, plus 19 and a quarter inches for a total of 55 and a quarter inch. Distance C is bench to bench spacing. For calculation C, there is a minimum aisle width of 17 inches. Value cannot be zero. To calculate distance C, add the following amount to your desired aisle width. For four foot to four foot setups, add 31 inches. For four foot to five foot setups, add 37 inches. For five foot to five foot setups, add 43 inches. Example, this contractor wants an 18 inch aisle for their bench layout. They have two four foot tables and one five foot table. Therefore, distance C from the four foot to four foot would be 49 inches, while distance C from the four foot to five foot would be 55 inches. Refer to appendix B of your manual for values of distance L based on your bench length. Once you have your A, B, C, and L values correctly calculated, Translate the measurements onto the floor of your room using a non-permanent marking method. Snap a chalk line along your distance markings. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 2. Arch Assembly Here's what you will need for this step. Each arch assembly consists of two legs and one arch tube. Each leg should be assembled in the same order. Frame leg flat washer, hex nut, threaded rod, flat washer, frame connector, and then a final hex nut threaded onto the threaded rod. Connect two leg assemblies with an arch tube using the 3 8 inch hex head screws. Here's a tip. Once arches are assembled, snug threaded rod nuts to prevent movement of hardware and label each assembled arch with an arch number. Each arch height can be adjusted independently to correct for terrain or desired drainage slope. If no slope is desired, adjust all arches to the same height. For drainage slope, use the tables provided in Appendix A of the assembly instructions to correctly adjust the height per arch number. Each table correlates the correct height adjustment to the arch number. Bench lengths are from 10 feet to 100 feet. For example, a 75 foot bench will have 16 arches, to achieve slope on a 20 inch or 30 inch system, 
The 10th arch will have a height adjustment of 3 inches, while the 11th will have a height adjustment of 3 and 5 16 inch. Using the same example, but to achieve a 12 inch slope, the 10th arch will have a height adjustment of 1 and a half inches, and the 11th will have an arch height adjustment of 1 and 11 16 inch. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 3. Frame Assembly. Here's what you will need for this step. Frame tubes and table tubes can be distinguished by their hole differences. For this step, we will need only the frame tubes. There are two different frame tube lengths, long and short. Identify the short tubes and set aside. Before step 4, assemble the frame using the hex head screws in roughly the final position in which it will be installed. Start with the end of the bench where the drain will be located. The arch at the drainage end will be arch 1. Using only the long tubes, complete the frame and finish with the short tubes. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 4. Anchoring the frame. Here's what you will need for this step. Refer to page 3 of the assembly instructions for the correct anchors to use. Follow the anchor manufacturer's instructions to properly drill and install anchors. All leg mounting locations must have the anchors installed and properly tightened. Failure to properly secure the bench can lead to bench damage and or lead to severe personal injury. Here's a tip. Before drilling, ensure that the edge of the foot plates align with the chalk lines from step one and that the inside distance between arch feet is 18 and a half inches. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step five, leveling the frame. Here's what you will need for this step. When leveling, only adjust the right side of the bench. If the bench is too high, decrease the arch height. If the bench is too low, increase the arch height. Make sure to tighten top and bottom hex nuts when adjusting arch height. Failure to do so can cause the arch to become unstable. This step is now complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 6. Roller Tube Assembly Here's what you will need for this step. There are two types of roller tubes, short and long. Separate the short tubes from the long tubes for easier assembly. Each short roller tube will receive one roller end. Attach the roller end to the short tube using hex head screws. Each long tube will receive a roller connector attached similarly via hex head screws. At the drain end, the long roller tube will receive a roller end attached via hex head screws. When tightening, do not over tighten the screws as this will cause the threads to strip out in the rollers. When assembled correctly, the short roller tube will be over the last arch, away from the drain end. Center roller ends and connectors on each arch, then proceed to the next step. Step 7A, four foot table assembly. Here's what you will need for this step. Starting at the drain end, assemble the four foot wide table tops in five foot sections one at a time. Work down the length of the bench in sections for less confusion and quicker assembly. Before assembling the tables, Roll each roller assembly to the appropriate outside stop to provide a stable platform. Center table extrusion over arch and roller connectors. Two table extrusions will be connected by three table tubes. Here's a tip. Pre-install the corner connector onto the table tube ahead of time. When attaching table tubes to center extrusions, install outer tubes first, leaving bottom screws for last. Doing so will create a better fit between tubes and extrusions. Once the outside tubes are installed with the bottom screws attached, install the middle tube via thread cutting hex head screws from the bottom. Ensure all components are installed properly before proceeding to the next section. Caution: Do not over tighten the screws as this will cause the threads to strip out. Also remember the table is only resting on the rollers. If moved off center, or if weight is placed disproportionately on one side, the table could tip off the rollers and frame, leading to damage or injury. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. 
Step 7B, five foot table assembly. Here's what you will need for this step. Starting at the drain end, assemble the five foot wide table tops in five foot sections at a time. Work down the length of the bench in sections for less confusion and quicker assembly. Before assembling the tables, roll each roller assembly to the appropriate outside stop to provide a stable platform for the assembly of the table. Center table extrusion over arch and roller connectors. Two table extrusions will be connected by five table tubes. Here's a tip. Pre-install the corner connector onto the table tube ahead of time. When attaching table tubes to the center extrusions, install outer tubes first, leaving the bottom screws for last. Doing so will create a better fit between tubes and extrusions. Once the outside tubes are installed with the bottom screws attached, install the middle tube via thread cutting hex head screws from the bottom. Ensure all components are installed properly before proceeding to the next section. Caution! Do not over tighten the screws as this will cause the threads to strip out. Also remember the table is only resting on the rollers. If moved off center, or if the weight is placed disproportionately on one side, the table could tip off the rollers and frame, leading to damage or injury. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 8. Installation of Anti-Tip Frame Here's what you will need for this step. Pre-assemble all anti-tip frames with bump stops. The anti-tip frame connects to the center table extrusions via four hex head screws. The screws are covered with hole plugs to prevent debris or excess condensation from entering the tube. Five foot benches require anti-tip brackets to be installed at every arch location while four-foot benches require installation at various arches based on total table length. If you have a four-foot table, refer to the chart in your manual for guide bracket installation location. Guide bracket orientation changes based on the arch number and total table length. Failure to install correctly will result in table drift and damage over time. After anti-tip frame installation is complete, install guide brackets using a self-drilling screw two and three quarters inch inset from blue frame connector. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step nine, installation of roller spacers. Here's what you will need for this step. Roller spacers are quick and easy to install. Simply snap the roller spacer onto the roller bar past the installed guide bracket. Move the other roller bar toward the roller spacer and snap into place. Once all roller spacers are installed, pull the bench to the stops. The movement should be smooth, with no catching. If movement is not smooth, adjust spacers as necessary. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 10. Installation of pull handles. Here's what you will need for this step. Using six thread cutting hex head screws per handle, Install handles to table extrusion ends. Install the outside four screws first. When installing the inside two hex screws, do not over tighten the screws. Leave space for trellis brackets to be inserted. This step is complete. Please proceed to the next step. Step 11, tray assembly. Here's what you will need for this step. Dry fit all trays on the table. Make sure all the seams fall into the recess in the table extrusions. Clean all surfaces that will be bonded with isopropyl alcohol and clean cloths. Before using Bond 3 lap tray sealant adhesive, carefully read and follow all warnings and directions for use. This can be found on the package itself and in the instructions. Beginning with arch one, install trellis brackets by inserting them into the cavity and tightening via center screws on the handle. Slide the drain tray against one side of the extrusion, as shown. Apply tray sealant to the seam and install trellis brackets to help keep trays tight and aligned while drying. Wait for the adhesive to cure. Your Botanicare slide bench is now set up and ready to grow your bottom line.